Hey, it's your local fish keeper Sabrina. How's everyone been doing? I hope you are well. If you're like me and you are extremely curious and interested in how our green spotted puffer friends live in the wild, then you're in for a treat. So last weekend, I got to visit their habitat along with a couple of friends. Before we begin our adventure, please go and give my friends a follow because without them, this trip would be impossible. A little introduction on who they are. Heezy Kim is an international biotope aquascaper and Victory Aquatics is a magnificent wild beta breeder and more. I'll put their links in the description box below, so go show them some love. So without further ado, let's begin our adventure. arrive at our first spot. Juvenile green spotted puffers can be found here and sometimes even in a group. High tide occurs at least two times in this area. So the juvenile green spotted puffers like to play around or hide near the rocky areas and mangrove roots. We started off by lowering the nets into the water. We tried to film an underwater footage, but yeah, the water is pretty murky. Visibility is low in these waters as the particulates and sediments in the water are very light. According to Adam's dad, even if you leave the water in a jar for 24 hours, the water will still remain murky. In the meantime, I took the chance to film other wildlife that's found in the area. I know what you're thinking, but Sabrina, what's the salinity level? Don't worry, I got you covered. At the time the reading was taken, the specific gravity was around 1.018 to 1.019. This was when the water levels starting to rise. After a while, everyone gathered around to check the net. We got a lot of feeder shrimps, some night goobies, and a few other juvenile fish. Since we didn't manage to catch any green spotted puffers in that area, we decided to move on to our next location. But we experienced a little bit of rain.
We didn't get to film much in this location due to the obvious weather condition, but we did find puffers and scatfish. These are juvenile milk spotted puffers or Kilonodon patoka. Not the puffers we were looking for, but definitely a wonderful surprise. In this huge area, there are three different puffer species that could be found. Firstly is our green spotted puffers or Dichotometer nigroviridis. Second is our milk spotted puffers or Clinonodon patoka. And thirdly is either Lagocephalus um, lunaris or spedicis. I'm not sure which one it is because um, we didn't manage to catch any of those. Uh, but the locals there called it uh, buntal pisang which directly translates into banana puffers. I did not manage to film it, but Hazy actually saw a juvenile green spotted puffer swimming near the rocks. As soon as we tried to catch it, um, the little guy sprinted away. <laughs> we didn't stay in the second location for long because, honestly speaking, the water level was rising very quickly. So let's head on to our third and final location. definitely got a lot more action in this spot. Upon arrival, we started to spot some mid to adult green spotted puffers. First things first, let's test the salinity level. With that much rainfall, the water reads at a specific gravity of 1.015. While I was busy doing that, Adam set up his nets and Hazy started filming the underwater scene. Again, since the particulates are so light and also due to the rain, we did not manage to see anything. After a few more attempts of catching green spotted puffers with the net, we went with plan B aka fishing. Before that, let's look at what we caught in the net. Adam uses a special bait called Pun Pun. In all honesty, I've never heard of them before and I have no idea what they're called in English. Apparently, these water worms nest inside tree barks and they are what they call sweet chocolate treats to green spotted puffers. Besides catching green spotted puffers, Adam managed to catch a grunfish. And also a beautiful goby. Let's take a closer look at everyone.
And that was our big green spot of puffer adventure. I hope you've enjoyed coming along with us today. Please like and subscribe if you'd like to see more content. And especially please do comment down below as I would love to hear your thoughts and read your comments. Until then, have a lovely day and see you next time.